welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new today i wanted to do a video about all the books that i got in my local library for their library book sale this year they had a book sale around the first week of august and i went there two days in a row because the fines they were just too good so today i'm going to show you all what i got and i'm going to tell you what i paid for everything because they had a pay what you want system which is honestly a little dangerous and I also had a coupon from when I did their summer reading challenge um, over like I think it was two months so I'm gonna show you all what I got and I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for at the end of each day the first day was the best day for me because I found so many books that I've been wanting for so long and I just never like bit the bullet and bought I'm gonna start with what I feel like is the heavy hitters, which is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Like, what? And it's in great condition. Like, it looks so good. It almost looks untouched. But I found this. It honestly, I found this in the YA section because obviously it's YA, but I went to the general fiction section first and I thought this sale was going to be such a dud for me. I couldn't find anything. It was a bunch of novels that I did not care about, I did not want to read about until I just quickly turned around and saw the YA table and I'm like, okay, this is more my speed because I can get some books that I've been wanting to read for a while. The next book I got is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Player. Um, I know it's a part of the Infernal Devices series. Again, I've never read this series growing up and I've always wanted to, but I never really bought it. So this is my chance to get it. And next I have Cloudwork Prince. Same deal with this one. Um, I don't remember how many books are in this series. Oh, quite a few. So I think I put a decent dent in them to where like I can wait and get the rest of them. Hopefully. The last book I got in the Infernal Devices series is Clockwork Princess. And this one is a hardback, which I was kind of like slightly annoyed about because I would want my series to match, but it was such a steal that I could not leave without it. Just because like it's not paperback when all of the rest of them are. This one is also in really good condition. Like these books do not really look worn and torn as much as I expected it being a library book sale and all and I'm very happy about that. The next book I found that I'm so excited about is Midnight Sun. It looks like brand new. It looks so good. It like there's nothing wrong with it. I'm pretty sure someone had just donated this before I got there because there's there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. But um, this year, I just started reading Twilight. And if you don't know this about me, Twilight is one of my favorite series. Like, so it's ironic that I've never read the books. But I love the movies. I have, like, DVD copies of every movie. And they sit on my shelf. It's a whole thing. Um, I have merch and everything. But I've never read the books. So I recently bought the book set for a very good price. It was, like, $13 on eBay. And so when I found this, I was so happy about it. And it's, like in hardback like the rest of them and it's perfect like I cannot be happier so the novels doing this but they got a funny okay the next book I found was Dark Visions by LJ Smith now I've never heard of this series before um but i think i've heard of the author i'm not sure what else they have written but the name sounds familiar and i know it's a pretty like beat up copy because this was like an actual library copy um and wasn't one of the donated books i guess so it's pretty beat up but i don't mind it it's pretty much um a vampire series and i love good vampire series obviously clearly and I wanted to give it a try and like it was such a cheap price that I figured that if I didn't like it I wasn't losing out on anything so 
Can't wait to get to this. The next book I got is Speak by Lori Haas Anderson. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I've always wanted to read this book, like, ever since I was in high school, but I never, like, picked it up because I could never really find it anywhere. And I oh, you're a little sticker in here. The next book I found is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield and I've wanted to read this obviously like for a very long time um, but I was always like unsure if I really like it um, so I didn't want to like pay the price that they were charging when it was brand new and this one is in good condition too. It's a little dirty like at the bottom and like on the corners and stuff but that's fine like this was one of the library books too like all these books um unless i mentioned that they looked brand new were in the like library plastic like with the um stickers and stuff on it and i just took them out because once i figured out that they weren't like fully fully attached to it i just wanted to take them off so i could display them on my shelves but this was one that had the like library plastic on it and I'm glad that they do that because the plastic was like dirty and disgusting. When I took it out, it's like a clean, pretty book for the most part. So yeah, can't wait to get to this one either. Now, these last two, um, I was excited about all the books on your mail, but these last two for this day, I was like, these are heavy hitters. So the first book, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. When I tell you, I wanted to read this for so long so 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 long but once again i never wanted to bite the bullet and just get it like when when it's a series i'm kind of like iffy on getting the first book because like if it's a series i know that like i'm gonna want to keep reading so like i'm gonna need at least the first two books but then it's like i just don't have a limit so i would want to get the whole series and read it through but it's like what if you don't like it like what are you gonna do with the books like, yeah, I could sell it or give it away, but like it's hard to get rid of books today, in my opinion. But anyway, very happy to have this. Um, it's such a pretty color, like, my favorite color is blue. So, this cover, I love it. Um, I hope to get to this soon, actually. I really do. I've been wanting to read it for so long, I don't even remember what it's about. Don't care, gonna read it anyway. I was really really happy to find this and it's in decent condition it's a little like dusty and like a little dirty but like that's to be expected with the library book okay this last one this last one okay so i don't even have words so this is the sun is also a star by nicola yoon um Obviously, everyone's heard about it. If you hadn't, if you have not, it's a very popular book. Um, I believe it's also a movie or maybe a show. This one doesn't say anything about it. However, it is a signed edition and it has purple sprayed edges. It's so beautiful. And it has like the purple edges all around. It's so beautiful. And it looks like somebody had to have donated this. It didn't have the library like, it didn't have the library plastic on it at all. Like no chances of being from a library whatsoever, no stamps, no anything. So someone had to have donated this and I just got there right when they dropped it off. I feel so lucky. I feel so 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 lucky and like the cover is like textured with the um words so you can kind of like it's so nice I'm so happy about this I wanted to read this one too once again I was really unsure if I would like it because while I wanted to read it it's not usually my type of you know story it's not usually my cup of tea but I hope that I love it because I really don't want to get rid of this edition. Like, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And with the orange, hold on, let me show you. What? I can't. 
This is like the best find of the first day. The best one. So, the first day, I believe I wanted to pay 30, but I had the coupon from the summer reading challenge and the lady at the front desk had no idea what the coupon was. I guess nobody told her about it. So she was like, do you want to maybe knock off like 10 or like five? And I was like, that's fine, I'll pay like 25. So I believe I paid 25 for the first day for all the books I just showed, which is crazy. Honestly, the um, pay your own price thing is dangerous because I know they want to get rid of books, but like you have to be fair at the same time. Like you can't go there and say that, hey, I only want to pay like 50 cents for a book because to me that's unfair and I want the library to like raise enough money but at the same time a steal is a steal um the hall is smaller because they didn't have that many books that I was really interested in on the site on the third day so this is what I found that I was interested in personally they had a lot of like second and third like books in a series and i didn't want to do that especially if it was a series that i didn't really know that i'd be into yet i only did it for series like this first one i'm going to show that i've been wanting to read for a long time and i just never ended up getting now, the first book i picked out was insurgent by veronica roth um is in perfect condition it was another book that i believe was donated right before i got there because it was not there the first day that i went um and the first day i went there was a girl who like was coming up the stairs because the book sale was in the basement of my library so she was coming up the stairs like arms full of books she had to have at least like 20 books holding them like coming up the stairs and i was so worried i was like i hope she didn't take all the good ones and like now i want to know what she got because i found some pretty good stuff so i want to know what was there like 30 minutes before I got there. The second book I picked up is Half Bad by Sally Green. Um, I absolutely love this cover. This was one of the actual like library books that I had to take the plastic off of, but it's still in great condition. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm hoping that I love it too. This next book is Let Us Know by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Um, this was in the holiday section because it's like a winter Christmas type of vibe. Um, I usually don't get books like this that have like multiple authors and like they all are telling their own stories because there's usually only one or two stories that I really like and the rest are kind of like eh. So I never want to pay like full price for a book where I only like like maybe one third of it. So. I thought I would pick this up because it's a really good deal and I do like having like holiday Christmassy reads when it's like snowing and it's like the Christmas decorations are up and stuff so yeah I hope I like this one too. The next book that I found is Dangerous Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stowe. I hope I'm saying that correctly but I've always seen these and always wanted to read them. I just never bought them like the rest of these books. So. <laughs> When I found this one in such great condition, um, this is another like actual library book, but it's in very good condition underneath the plastic. Plus it's this like velvety material with the raised letters. I love it so much. So I believe this is like a paranormal, I think. Yeah, Siren and a Certified Bagger. Yeah, I think it's like paranormal. Like they have sirens in here. I'm hoping there's a little like vampire activity, but we'll see. And because I got this book, I also got another book that I'll show a little bit later after the library book sale. The last book I got in the library book sale haul is Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Johnny Sun. I've seen um, books with Chloe, who her name is now like Chloe Bunny, I believe. I've seen her talk about this a lot, and she really loves this book and it's a graphic novel. I found this in the kids section. So I'm really excited about it. I hope that I love it as much as she does and that it means as much to me as she has talked about in her videos. So I'm glad I picked this up too. And the entire price for the second day, I paid $10 because I didn't really get that much. And less than 10 to me would have been like 
kind of wrong in my opinion. That's everything I got at the library book sale haul and now I will show books that I've gotten recently just not at that sale. This first book I got is because I've got Dangerous Creatures at the book sale haul. Um, I got Beautiful Creatures by the same author because I believe this is the first book and I didn't want to have a second book without if this is even the second book I'm not even sure but I didn't want to have this without getting this one so I got this one from a youtuber by the name of Witty Novels she has a depop where she sells the books that she wants to get rid of and I saw this on there and I thought it was perfect timing so okay the next book that I got I just ordered on a whim from Amazon is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard if I'm saying that correctly um heard so many good things about this um it was on sale for i believe like 10 bucks or less so i thought that i would finally pick it up um i love the cover hopefully i love the book too i just noticed i haven't been like saying what these books are about that's because i feel like i'm so late to every single book in like series that everybody else already knows what it's about because they've read it but if you guys want me to say what they're about anyway, please leave that below and I will remember to put that in my next book haul. The next book I got is Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. Um, in this book, I've heard some pretty good things about, um, some pretty spicy things about. I didn't realize it would be this thick, um, but that's more fun for me, honestly. Um, it's obviously about vampires, um, I believe it has smut. Um, I heard about Katie Robert from one of my friends um, because I told her that I was struggling with finding books that I really like, like and that I felt like were really good because I've been reading stuff and it's been a lot of like three stars, two stars, DNFs. So she told me to check out Katie Robert. So I went on TikTok and I searched Katie Robert and everyone was talking about this book and like a few other books but this one was the most appealing to me because the cover is beautiful and I love a vampire story so hopefully I really love this book I want to get to this book um in this month so after I'm done with my like book club and like buddy read books I'm jumping into this okay so that was my library book haul thank you all for watching let me know in the comments like what books you think I should get to first what books were your favorite or what do you think like I need to take back to the library. <laughs> so thank you again for watching. Um, I'll be back next week with another video. Bye.